what you're about to see is the advertisement that was for an AI tool that got Twitter riled up and people sending not death threats, but let's just say some very inflammatory comments to the founder of this tool. First, watch this without context because I want to talk to you all about why I think everyone's overreacting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, how old did you say you were? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm 30, 30 years old. Um, your profile says you worked at Bananazon? Uh, yeah, yeah. I've been there for the uh, past eight years doing, um, like senior software engineering. So, you know, like coding. Really? You look, I, I know I look a little young for my age, but, um, I promise you I'm, I'm 30 years old. Okay. Well, maybe you are just way older than you look. I saw on your profile that you're, you're like into art. Yeah. I've been going into illustrations by Nara holding. All right, I didn't expect you to be an art guy. Oh, man. Here's your glass of rosé. And Thank you. sorry, we couldn't verify your ID. Oh, so what? here's a grape juice for you. Oh, are you, are you, wait, 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 I, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a mistake. Uh, I think you're way too young for me, so I'm gonna have to go. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, look, listen, I'm, I know I lied about my age, I'm sorry, but the second I saw your profile and I, I, I saw the painting with the tulips, you're just like the most gorgeous girl ever and you're such an unbelievably talented artist. Do you think you can just give me like one chance to show you I can make this work? Can you give me some time to think about it? Are you free sometime next week? Ooh, actually, uh, next week I have this anime convention I gotta go to with my boys. Do you think you could do like next month maybe? Oh my god. So one of the things we can see here in this is that this is basically called Cluely. And the main thing that they are trying to state is that you can cheat on everything. So this demo that we do see here, I want you guys to know that this currently doesn't actually exist. What you're seeing is a product that is somewhat of a vision for the future, but in the fullest and truest of sense, what you're currently seeing on screen doesn't exist as a you know standalone product. Now, I can completely understand why when anyone who saw this immediately wanted to rip the wires out of the computer that built this because it does come across as something that is severely, severely weird and strange and in a society where you know you really want to trust people it just seems like there's so much dishonesty going on in this clip now this is i guess you could say a masterclass in marketing because like i said the majority of people that saw this they didn't even realize what they were really watching and they kind of reacted to this in the way that the founder actually wanted and the story here is actually way bigger than you might think because whilst yes right now it just seems like this cringe guy who's going on a date with a girl that's out of his league or just a girl that's clearly you know older than him this is something that got people so riled up that it even appeared on my feed multiple times and i thought you know what i might as well talk about it so the true thing here where you can say someone said what the hell this is evil someone also said people like you destroy society Yes, I read your manifest manifesto. No, you have no idea what is good, right, or beautiful. Yada, yada, yada. And I think people need to understand that this was probably the best rage bait I've ever seen because this was designed in a way to literally mess with people's emotions. And I think one thing, you know, you can understand about marketing is that if you market a product, ideally you want as much publicity as possible and you want to trigger people's emotions and if you trigger people's emotions you get people engaged in whatever it is that you're doing so you can see the guy the curator here says the fact that you're watching it getting annoyed and commenting is why the video was designed this way and it's even doing better than expected so you might be wondering right okay so you've shown us this video of this ai date tool that doesn't seem real because the project doesn't exist what is the tool that does exist and what on earth has gone on here? And this is why I say people are overreacting, even though it was designed that way. So essentially, if you actually go on their website, they have a manifesto, which is basically around the fact that they want everyone to cheat on their tests. And I quote cheat on everything because it, you know, sounds quite unethical, but you'll understand why it makes sense. So they said, you're supposed to cheat on everything. Yep, you heard that right. Sales calls, meetings, negotiations. If there's a faster way to win, we will take it. We built Cluely so you never have to think alone again. It sees your screen, hears your audio, 
feeds you answers in real time, and while others guess, you're already right. And yes, the world will call it cheating. But so was the calculator, and so was Spellcheck, and so was Google. Every time technology makes us smarter, the world panics, then it adapts, then it forgets, and suddenly it's normal. But this time, it's different. AI isn't just another tool, it will redefine how our world works. Why memorize the facts, write code, and research anything when an AI model can do it in seconds? The best communicator, the best analyst, the best problem solver is now the one that knows how to ask the right question. The future won't reward effort, it will reward leverage. So start cheating because when everyone does, no one is. And essentially, the tool that this guy actually built is actually not some kind of date research tool, but he actually built a tool that could basically help you cheat on big tech interviews. And it was a huge controversy at the time because it got to the point where his university kicked him out. Now, the reason that I think this is receiving so much controversy is because some people are like, you shouldn't cheat on things, you shouldn't have this information, yada, yada, yada. However, it is a situation where it's 50-50. We know that AI is really going to change the world. We know that increasingly people are getting access to AI tools. So what difference does it make now if someone is using that AI tool in an interview to be able to better themselves, to be able to answer the question so that they can get through? I mean, I honestly think that this tool is not that bad considering the fact that 10 years from now, we're gonna have even smarter and fast AIs. And it's quite likely that we will be required to be you know, managing these AIs, using these AIs on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is probably just something that is just showing you the first instance. Of course, the relationship example is probably the worst example you could have shown, but since it does elicit people's emotions, it does make sense. And so, yeah, when you go on this website, you can see the invisible AI to cheat on conversations, sales calls, Zoom calls, et cetera, et cetera. And the thing is that, you know, technology like this is going to proliferate through many different industries. So I don't think we can be surprised or even annoyed at someone for building something that actually works. I mean, it's, you know, the eventuality. This is eventually going to happen. Did we really think that people weren't going to figure out a quick way to use LLMs to do things like this? Now, the crazy thing about all of this is that even if this guy is getting a ton of hate about this, which is undeserved, honestly, we have to understand that other companies are going to produce products that basically will allow you to do this. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Google's glasses or even Meta's glasses, but they are basically building real-time AR goggles that allow you to search and get real-time updates for pretty much anything that you do want. And if we know that in 10 years, that is going to become commonplace where you can really just ask your AI glasses, what, you know, do I want to have for breakfast? What can I do here in this meeting or at work? Why would that be something that you would reject now? It makes sense to actually jump on that as early as possible so that you gain as much leverage as you can. I mean, if you aren't using the AI tools, I think you're possibly putting yourself somewhat at a disadvantage. Now, of course, if we're talking about, you know, doing research on a date and manipulating someone into being with you, I think that is an entirely different conversation. But that's not what we're here to discuss. We're here to discuss this incredible AI tool. And I think the story of this is absolutely incredible. And if you aren't familiar with why this guy built this, it's because he essentially hates leak code interviews. And leak code interviews are basically these super difficult interviews that they try and use to sort of judge how good you are at these big tech companies for jobs like software engineering. And he just basically had enough. and was like, you know what? I'm building an AI tool that you can use to cheat on these interviews because they're not really a good way to determine if you're good at the job at all. And basically, since then, his tool has blown up. Of course, big tech companies are mad and this guy has just raised $5 million. So let me know what you guys think about this entire story. It is pretty crazy. A lot of people are mad, rightfully so, but I think this is one of AI's lighter 